But we begin tonight with the mass exodus from the Canterbury District Health Board, with two more resignations from the executive team this morning, taking the total number to seven. Dozens of masked health workers took to the streets chanting in protest, fearing patients will pay the price if the board's directive to cut costs go ahead. They want the Prime Minister or Minister Chris Hipkins to intervene. Katie Todd reports on a community at boiling point. That was the question hurled at the Canterbury District Health Board corporate office by more than 100 face mask doctors and nurses this morning. Inside, the board were discussing how to cut its $180 million deficit. One protester, nurse educator Neil Halliwell, fears patient welfare won't be the priority. They have to claw back money somehow. It will be from staffing. Um, they can say until they're blue in the face that services won't be cut. However, the only way to, to claw back money is either cutting services or cutting staff. Chief of Medicine at Christchurch Hospital, David Smythe, says the timing couldn't be worse. We can't cope with major cut in services. We've got a, a, a COVID on the doorstep. We've got appalling facilities to look after COVID patients. We've lost our executive management team who were responsible for our response to the earthquake, our response to the mosque attacks. We are seriously worried and so should the people of Canterbury. That executive leadership team has disintegrated in a matter of weeks, with the sixth and seventh resignations announced this morning. Director of Māori and Pacific Health Hector Matthews and Director of Nursing Mary Gordon are the latest to hand in their notice. They follow People Officer Michael Frampton, Funding and Decision Support Executive Director Carolyn Gallery, Chief Financial Officer Justine White and the Chief Medical Officer and Leader of the Region's COVID-19 response, Sue Nightingale. Chief Executive David Mates and Board Chair Sir John Hanson are also on the way out. New Zealand Nurses Organisation spokesperson Julia Anderson believes they all leave a big legacy. This executive management team have brought the people of Canterbury through some very, very significant times. Um, and you can see that from the depth of feeling and the number of people here today that they're well supported by the people who work for them and with them. Though the resigning members haven't explicitly stated a reason for leaving, Nurse John Hewitt thinks they're no longer willing to put up with the actions of the board or be complicit as it makes decisions without taking their advice. That includes the decision to accept a reduced cost ward block and a future extension of the hospital against the advice of clinicians and staff. Mr Hewitt says Ms Gordon's departure as the Director of Nursing has hit staff particularly hard. She has been the rock of the CDHB for as many years as I've been working here. Um, and, that's, and that's why we're here today, it's the final straw. In an open letter published in the press newspaper today, senior doctors detailed their demands for the board to act as advocates for the people of Canterbury, not the Minister of Health, with more transparency. They want a review of the funding for Christchurch Hospital's rebuild and the board to seek feedback before appointing new staff. Neil Halliwell also wants the government to take leadership on its problems. He says a letter senior doctors wrote to Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern asking her to intervene has already gone unanswered. There seems to be this vacuum of response coming from, uh, unfortunately, the Prime Minister's office, the Ministry of Health, absolutely nothing. There were no promises from Health Minister Chris Hipkins today as he reinstated his confidence in the board and pledged to have a conversation with David Mates, who is still its chief executive, until next month, seeing out his notice. There was also no response from board members who hunkered down in their meeting during the protest and could not be reached for comment. For Checkpoint in Christchurch, call Katie Todd, TNA.